Hi, I'm Rachel Granger with Red Carpet Report, and we're here at the Pacific Design Center for the premiere of National Geographic's Breakthrough. What a creative thinking outside of the box where, especially in an industry like Hollywood, where thinking outside the box gets you places, putting that together with technology to think outside of the box is kind of exactly all of what Breakthrough is about, is really giving the creativity the room to really have wings. Would you agree with that? I'm going to pretend I said that. <laughs> like, that was all him. He, he said all of that. He was so good at that. Uh, each of these episodes is going to be really strong with these directors working on them because uh, clearly they're not going to do a haphazard job and clearly they're not going to be drawn to a subject that is slapped together. I, uh, I hear it's like on pandemics, right? Is that the episode? Yeah, there's a, yeah uh, the very first one I believe is on pandemics, yeah, so that's more terrifying than almost anything I could think of. Or it could be educational because it's Natural Geographic. True, and then there'll just be really good photos everywhere. Yes, there's a really, hopefully there's really good photos everywhere. <laughs> Out of what you've kind of heard about uh, the episodes so far, which one are you kind of looking most forward to? You've got some stuff with water and energy and pandemics. I, water is probably my biggest interest because I live in LA and I'm very aware of the drought. So that is sort of my, that's really what I'm, I'm I mean, I'm interested in seeing all of it. My friend from college worked on this and it's a passion project for her. So I'm really excited just to be here and support. Perfect. Did you get to pick your episode, I guess? I guess I'll start there. Well, I had a couple, you know, uh -huh. a couple. You know, I was really interested in the anti-aging, the brain. All of them were fascinating. All of them had their, their points. But by the time I got to pick, it was like energy or water. It was like energy just seemed so heady. And, you know, of course, of course with any of them, I was going to be sitting in the seat of, of, of learning, you know, of being made aware. But uh, water seemed more accessible, you know, as you can imagine. You know, obviously all the individuals, Berg and... Ron and Angela, all these you know famously successful people in this industry, decided to get behind a project like this, and I, I, I love it, right? So I think I think most people are actually kind of nerds at heart. At least I like to, I like to think that way, and um, I think this is the the era of nerd is actually the cool kid in the room these days. So it's really interesting to do something which is essentially a teaching opportunity. That none of us did this to get rich or to win an award. We did it because there needs to be conversation about these issues and as you know as really populist entertainers we're all sort of mainstream <laughs> folks it was can we take these very can we take more niche issues and turn them into something that people might talk about at what used to be called the water cooler and that was a fun idea to try we, we like making movies about noble characters and noble characters are very much involved in the world of science and creating solutions to problems on the planet. So it was an easy way for us to attach ourselves to protagonists that we can relate to. And, and I think the fact that we had some experience telling stories that were science-based, but finding the, the heartbeat of those stories, um, it, it kind of um, it gave us the confidence to believe that we could, and our fellow directors who, who, you know, who came on board, could make these stories really accessible, really entertaining, and, um, you know, and, and kind of heroic and noble and not frightening and, and dark. Doomsday-ish, as it could have easily gone. Hey, thanks for watching. And if you like what you saw here, go ahead and hit like, subscribe, and in the comments below, tell me what your favorite subject in school was. And if it was science, tell me if you ever did a science project.